I recently received a newsletter from the author of The Atomic Habits, James Clear. There was such a good quote there that sparked my attention. Goals are for people who care about winning once. Systems are for people who care about winning repeatedly. Even a year ago, I would not have the slightest clue what it means and what he was talking about. But recently, I decided that it was time to add some structure to my life and figure out how I can do more with less. To simplify it, I basically decided that I want to self-grow and become more productive. All that being said, what are the systems? Let's keep it kinda short. Systems are the mixture of right people, softwares, mindset and how to use all of that together. And while we live in a digital world and keeping everything on the cloud and synced is literally a lifesaver, I got a software solution for you. I'm talking about Notion. Look, regardless if you don't know anything about Notion or maybe you used it for some time, I'll try to make this video as inclusive as possible and share some basic tips as well as more advanced tips and tricks. So what's Notion? Notion is basically a software that can be used for note-taking and productivity, but with the right skill set, it literally becomes your brain inside of the computer. Notion exists on the web so you can add it to your browser, or it can also be used as a desktop client so you can download it on your computer. But additionally, Notion has also an iOS app and the Android app. The cool thing about all of that is that there's not one way to go. I see some people using web version and I see some people using desktop version. I used Notion on my Mac before, so my Apple computer. Now I'm using Notion on my Windows computer and I will show you how it looks. But I'm also using Notion on my iPhone and iPad and works perfectly all across different platforms. Lastly, Notion is a freemium app. I didn't know the world like that exists before I started to do some research, but it basically means that it has both free and paid version of the app. But there is a huge difference between Notion and other freemium apps. Notion's free plan will give you almost everything you need as a solo user. The biggest key difference between the free plan and the plus plan that is currently priced $8 per month is that if you want to use it for your business or collaborate with others, they'll have a limited block trial with the free plan and you will not be able to upload files that exceed 5 megabytes with the free plan. Now that's enough interesting production talk, so let's actually hop into Notion and explore it a little bit. So here is Notion. I spent a lot of time building some of that, so don't get confused, there's a lot of stuff at first, but let's take it step by step and let me show you the basics first. Firstly, there is a workspace that you can see on the top left that says Slav's Notion, and the workspace is everything that we have right here. And when you first download Notion, you will just have a blank page, so let's start with that. The first thing to realize about Notion that it consists of pages, and all you can see right here, these are all pages, and we just created a white blank page. I mean it's dark now because I have a night theme, but when it's a day theme, it's gonna be white. Our page is untitled at the moment, so let's name our page. Let's name it Test Page. And if you click on the empty page or just click Enter right here, you will be able to write something on your page and basically populate your page. So let's write something like, hello world, this is Notion YouTube video. Here we have a page that's titled test page and we also have hello world and this is Notion YouTube video. And do you see those little things that pop up when I hover over those things? That's what we call blocks. And as you can see, I highlighted the block here or I highlighted the block right here. And the page basically, this entire page consists of those blocks that we can drag around so I can drag those blocks around and I can do a lot of things with the blocks. As you can see, I can turn them into bulleted list, I can turn them into toggle list, etc, etc. Probably the best part about Notion that it's not boring and you can actually customize the pages and the blocks to your liking. So let's add the icon to the page and let's do something like that smiley face for example and then we can add the cover to the page. So we can have that basic cover, I don't really like that space theme, so if we do change cover and let's go to Unsplash, it's basically linked to Unsplash, let's look for something here. Kinda like this thing, you can obviously type whatever you want, but I like this Samurai. As you can see, it's a little like not positioned correctly, so I can reposition, drag it a little bit. Ooh, I like that a little mask. I just click save position and already it looks so much better. We have a little smiley face here, you can change it to whatever emoji you want, maybe something like that to match kind of the theme. Then you have that little samurai on the back and then you can also do whatever you want with blocks. So for example, I want to turn these blocks into actually a heading too. And this is a Notion YouTube video and then I can do the bullet list. Um, talking about customization, right? And then if I click enter, I can do the second bullet list. And I'm talking about like high world again, for example, right? And what if this thing, the heading, I actually don't like the heading too. I can turn it into anything else. I can turn it into call out, for example, and it will be like that nicely highlighted thing. 
and hello world I actually want to highlight it into a different color so I'll make it with a red background. As you can see there's a lot of customization options available in Notion but let's do a real kind of life example and let's say that you are at biology class and you want to do some notes. Your professor talks about animals at the moment. So what you can do you can click slash and then you can click heading 2 and say something like animals, right? But then what happens, for example, you want to separate notes about animals from all the other notes. So what you can do, you can click slash again and you can click another page and name this page notes about animals. And all of a sudden you created a page inside of the page. So let's do lion, for example. And now you can add an icon of lion, right? And then in the background, you can do something like Let's do nature because it's biology, right? So you'll type nature, maybe something like that, a little forest that will kind of remind us of biome, you know, we'll reposition it a little bit, maybe something like that. And then you can do slash lion is a strong animal, king of the animals, etc, etc. You get the drift. What happened now, you created your first page inside of the page and you're probably going to be doing that a lot. But if you look on the top right here, you will see that it kind of reminds you of the internet browser, right? You have one page, you have another page. So let's say you want to go back to the general page of biology nodes. What you can do, you can either click back right here, go back and the, here's a little shortcut for you like control and left bracket. Or you can go to the test page and just click on this thing. So let's click here and we're back on our general biology page. What we can do now is we can create more pages so we can create more information on this page. Or if we want to separate something like we did with animals, we'll be able to click on this page and will direct us to the animals page. Notion can be used by people in all kinds of fields of operation. If I were a student, I would absolutely use Notion as my note-taking app and organization app. But I'm not a student now and it's still my go-to software. I know that Ali Abdal, who has almost 5 million subscribers on his YouTube, used Notion to run his entire business ecosystem. In some of his videos, he was mentioning that he has more than a dozen team members and they're all using Notion and collaborating in this workspace. To fully grasp the possibilities that Notion can offer, let's go to the template page and see what they have to offer there. Here on the bottom left is a templates page. So if you click right here, you'll be introduced to all the different templates that Notion has. For example, to-do list, you have tasks, name, you have assignee, you have due, or the meetings, for example, where you will have different meetings, who, who it's created by, who are the attendees, etc. For example, right here is kind of a useful template if you're a social media creator, social media calendar. So let's click get template and it will add another page with the template right here. So let's try to use it a little bit. I will type right here Notion YouTube video because that's what I'm doing right now and I'm currently in process of doing that but I don't see in process right here for a status so I would click edit property and I would add in progress and actually get a toggle in progress and now what I can do I can click in progress we have notion YouTube video in progress date we can actually use today date so I'm recording this video on what August uh, 18th 2023 so that would be the date for this video it's not a product it's like more editorial i would guess and we can remove product the platform it's not twitter it's not linkedin but it's going to be for youtube and the visuals needed yes and now we can actually toggle between all posts and the calendar view so let's go to the calendar view and for today you will see notion youtube video and if you click it will expand and give us some more th stuff so i can even leave comments i am recording this video right now and I left a comment and as you can see here is the calendar we open it and here's my comment so especially it's cool if you have a team member and they'll see oh he's recording this video right now I'll not disturb him for example and obviously if you'll add more items to your table right here and then you'll be able to go to the calendar view and see that for example for Monday you have two social media posts for Wednesday you have another YouTube video etc etc as you can see possibilities are pretty much endless here but these were some theoretical examples of usage of notion so let me show you how I personally use Notion Notion and what I'm doing in it. I'm thinking of myself as a casual Notion user. I'm probably somewhere in between the absolute beginner and the Notion geek that spends literally his entire life in there. So let me show you how I personally use Notion and what I'm doing here. In my Notion everything starts with a live operation system, live OS. 
Full disclosure, I didn't come up with that layout. Big thank you to Ali Abdal for the enormous amount of content about Notion and he basically taught me how to create this and how to start using it. Let's go about LifeOS step by step. As you can see, I changed the icon to a little plant right here. I chose the background that I like and I added a little quote right here. Every action you take is a vote for the type of the person you wish to become. It's actually from the book Atomic Habits that I mentioned at the beginning. And every time I open Notion and I see this quote, I'm like, damn, I need to start doing something. I need to be more productive because that's a type of the person I wanted to becoming so I'm taking a vote towards it. And then here is my general dashboard and here are five different pages that are trying to optimize my life around. So health, wealth, love, happiness, impact. On the right side you can see something that I have for today so it's highlight of the day. Highlight of the day basically means a task or couple of tasks that if I complete them today, I'll feel productive and I'll feel accomplished. As you can see for highlight of the day today, I have to record a Notion video and update content creation calendar. Since I'm already recording a video and I know I'm going to be done soon, I can actually check it out and as you can see it will cross it over. And then that's my to-do list. So basically the things that I'm going to do today, but if I'm not gonna get them done today, it's fine. I can do them tomorrow. They're a little less important. So write a script for another YouTube video and give my team tasks regarding editing for tomorrow. I want to get it done today, but I know if I'm gonna get this done tomorrow morning, it's still gonna be okay. And then on the left side, I have reminders. So for example, if I want to remind myself to do something, I'll go reminder, date of reminder. So for example, today, right, and film, Notion video and when I open it and I will look left I'll know that today on August 18th I need to film a Notion video and then at the bottom left there's no time to do list that basically tells me about the stuff that I need to get done at one point but it's not an emergency so I can wait with that. So let's actually dive a little deeper into one of those pages and let's open wealth for example. If I click on it there's a little background as you can see I put some yachts in there a little dollar icon and let's go to finances for example and here you can see month on month expenses month on month revenue and let's open monthly bills and I'll show you around. Here is the page I created to track my monthly bills and for example today is 18th and I pretty much paid all the monthly bills this month besides the water delivery because it was delivered today. So I can toggle it off right here and that way I'll know that I already paid for Wi-Fi, I already paid for phone bill, electricity, rent and I can stay on top of the things. And what I would do actually I would go to Google Calendar and add the event at the certain day of every month to go and check out my monthly bills in Notion and that way I can update it monthly and stay on top of the things. And now let me show you another example. So if we go to happiness and we go to personal project, here's my stuff YouTube, and then we can go to video scripts, for example, the scripts that I already finished and posted. And here's a script, for example, of YouTube video from zero to one. You will see the title of the video, crafting YouTube videos, workflow and creative process, who is it for, someone who just started, kind of like a little thumbnail inspiration idea, and then there's intro with the different chapters, etc, etc. And every time I want to create a new YouTube video and I need to write a script, I actually have a script template that I have right here. What I would do, I would just duplicate it and then I can move it to work in progress scripts that I'm using and go from here, you know, title, for example, it would be Notion video, right? And then thumbnail, I would look through some thumbnail, generate some ideas, who is it for? People who never used Notion, right? And then I would go with intro, different chapters, outro, etc, etc. And there is also another great feature about Notion that you might not know. Here is my page, for example, my company page, Solemn Media for content creators. Who are we? I have a little like graphic right here. What are we doing? That's actually the content creation business that I'm running. And then I have different clients right here. I have a video, YouTube video that gives testimonials, etc, etc, a little discovery call. And what I did actually, I posted this page to the web. So here is on the top right is a share button. And then if I click publish, I can actually publish this thing to the web. Mine is already published, but you will have a publish button. And then I can copy web link to actually go check out how it looks. I'll go to Google, I'll just paste it. And I have already a website for my company that I can share with some prospects so they can know about us a little bit more, who are we, what we do, etc, etc. And as I said, I did it without any coding, just created a page in Notion and just share it with you. All that being said and shown, I'm gonna repeat myself. In no way I'm an absolute Notion pro or geek. So if you want to learn more information about Notion and how to write some functions, how to link pages, etc, etc, there are hundreds of other content creators that will know about Notion more than I do 
and they'll be able to show you more stuff. So if you're interested in that, definitely go check them out. But the goal of this video was to introduce the software to you and to show you around a little bit. If it sparked your attention at least a little bit and you want to try using Notion, I'll feel that my mission is accomplished. However, remember, it definitely takes some time to set everything up and figure out what works for you. You might start using one template, but then after two or three days realize that you need to pay so much attention to it and it actually doesn't work for you. So then you might want to tweak it a little bit or completely get rid of that and try something new. Remember, it's all about fun and some stuff that worked for others that works for me might not necessarily work for you. So try, find your own path and enjoy Notion. In case you guys found this video at least a little bit useful, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to the channel and go check out my other videos. Thank you so much.